Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use the extract function in Power Query. So for those of you that are familiar with the left, mid, or right function, it's very familiar uh, because what it does is it extracts out some text or some series of text from your cells. So let's say, for example, all you want is the F or M in the gender. You can extract that out. Or if you only want the first uh, six characters of a MAC address, you can also do that. So I have my range of data here. Let's bring it into Power Query. Go to Data and go from Table and Range. Excel is going to be smart enough to say this range is available to create a table. My table does have headers. The first row is a field of headers. Click OK. It's going to open up the Power Query editor. And here's where I can do most of my extraction. The extract commands are under the Transform tab here. You can also find it under Add Columns. But I don't need to add an additional column for the extraction in this example and keep the keep the original column. I'm just going to transform it in the original column and we'll just clobber that column. So let's go with the first one here. You go under the text of columns and under extract, let's select one column here. The first option is to extract the length. So this is very similar to the LEN function in Excel. You get the length of all those values there. So female has a length of six characters, male a length of fourth characters. So that's nothing new, but this is something where we can use other extract functions. So where we want to do is extract the first character. So in this example, all we want to do is extract the first character. You can type how many characters, how many starting characters you want. We only want one character, not two or three. And that will give us either an M or an F. So that's what we can do with that. Now let's say, for example, we only want to extract the uh, last character. So let's say for uh, for social security number, these are fake social security numbers. We want to extract one of the last four social security numbers. So we go under extract, last characters, and we just type four. We want to count a four, click OK, and we only get the last four social security numbers, maybe for authentication purposes. There's other extract functions here, or other extract parameters here. There's this range function. So here we can do something in between. So I, I select range, let me select something like phone number. And we only want something in between. Maybe we want in between the fourth character and the eighth character, right? So we only want those three digits there, four, five, three, nine, one, five. So let's extract from the range, go to extract range. And we want to start the index at the fourth character. So that's going to be four. That's going to give us the four here and the nine here. And we only want to extract three characters. That's including that starting index, click OK, and now we have our range. So what's the next one? We have extract text before delimiter. Let's say we want to see anything before this slash, so the time zone here. So I click on that, go to extract text before delimiter, and the delimiter is this dash. There's these advanced options that we can do, and I'll show you these, what we can do with these later on. So we click OK, and we have all the text that is before that slash. Now, if we want to show the text before delimiter here, what we can do is let's go back to let's go to the MAC address here. Click on the MAC address here, and we'll go extract text before a dash. And let's say we wanted the dash, but we want that third dash here, right? Anything before this third dash. Go to advanced options, and from the start of input, we want the delimiter skip skip. We want to skip the first two dashes. So we press two here or type two here, click OK, and the MAC address is giving us alphanumeric characters here, one, two, three, four, five, six here. And that's basically the MAC address of the organization or the company that is identified and these fake MAC addresses. Now let's delete that step and we can see that we can use also something where we have the text after delimiter. So if we click after delimiter and do a dash, go to advanced options, and let's say the delimiter is to skip, let's go to the end of the input. And if we do the end of the input, it's going to start from the end. So we go one, two. So we can also say two here. And it's going to get us these uh, last six alphanumeric characters. Click OK. And now we have those last six. So the first one is going from the beginning to the end. The last one, the next one, the extract text after delimiter is starting from the end and going that way, uh, going from right to left. So the last one here is text between delimiters. Let's use it here for the email. We want to get the domain here, but the, maybe the company or the organization, and that's between the at symbol and the period. So we click on email here, go to extract, text between delimiters, and we want to have the start delimiter is that at sign, the end delimiter is the period. So we're all going to just get the organization or the company here. And we do have advanced options where you can scan for the start delimiter or scan for the end delimiter, but we're not going to use that here. But the most simple, simplest aspect is between some delimiters here. So I'll click OK, 
and now you'll have all the companies or organizations names that are after the at sign and before that period where it's a .com and .gov. So that's where you can use a lot of the cool different parameters of this extract command in Power Query. So instead of splitting columns and doing some other uh, type of transformation, you can just use the extract command either in the transform tab or the add column tab if you wanted to add an extra column and keep the existing column. But this is a pretty cool tool to use in Power Query if you've got a lot of transformation to do or it's a reoccurring process. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.